One Wild Christmas. Written and illustrated by Nicholas Holdland. Published by Kids Can Press. There once was a bear, a moose, and a beaver whose very favorite time of year was Christmas. On their first Christmas Eve together, the three friends were busy preparing food, hanging their stockings, putting up lights, and wrapping presents. Everything had to be done to perfection. But when they turned their attention to trimming the Christmas tree, they suddenly realized that they had forgotten the most important decoration of all. Quickly, the moose and the beaver rushed out into the forest. The bear followed close behind. First they came across a maple tree. Next they saw a birch tree. Then they bumped into a towering cedar tree. None were quite right. Finally, they found a pine tree. It was sweet-smelling, had long, soft needles, and was just the right size. But to the bear's horror, the beaver went to chop down the tree. The bear loved all living things, especially trees, and this was the most beautiful tree he had ever seen. The three friends had a big problem. There was no way the bear would let the beaver and the moose harm this tree. And the beaver and the moose were not about to let the bear get in the way of their perfect Christmas tree. It was a short argument. The moose and the beaver were no match for the bear's strength. The bear was happy the tree was safe, but he worried that his love of trees might ruin their Christmas. Then he had an idea. The bear grabbed his sled and raced home. Back at the cabin, the bear gathered all of the food, decorations, and presents, and carefully loaded everything onto his sled. The bear's journey back proved a little more difficult. The moose and the beaver were relieved to see their friend, and as soon as they saw the sled loaded with presents, food, and Christmas decorations, they knew exactly what the bear had in mind. Together the friends set up a table with all the food, arranged their stockings, hung the ornaments, and placed the presents under the tree. Then, when they were all done, they had a snowball fight. At last, the bear, the moose, and the beaver were ready to celebrate. Not only did they agree that this tree was perfect, it was also the perfect Christmas. <laughs>